Somebody said, hey, Zach, can you please tell me why Aaron Rodgers faked his injury week six, October 15th? Yeah, that's an easy one. October 15th leaves 77 days left in the year. Green Bay, with the alphabetic order, sums to 77. And I pointed out on my blog, before the game was played, why I like the Vikings to win, bringing their record to 4-2, and two, and bringing the Packers' record to 4-2, and two, which is a lot like 42. The Packers have the big G on the side of their helmet. In Sumerian Gematria, big G, the seventh letter, is 7 times 6. So big G is 42. And in Satanic Gematria, big G is also 42. Thus, it made a lot of sense for them to fall to 4 and 2 on the day that leaves 77 days left in the year. Again, G is the seventh letter, and that's exactly what happened. I know they said his, he broke his collarbone. I haven't done any decoding on it. I did a lot of driving this weekend. I drove all the way across Washington State, all the way down to Portland. I've been all over the road. So I haven't had a lot of time to do videos, but I did see the Aaron Rodgers injury, all scripted by the numbers. Even better than that was Tom Brady won his record 187th game. Remember, 187 is the number that is the code. This entire code of letters and numbers comes from the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, which is 187 chapters where the name of God is Elohim. Elohim in Hebrew equals 187. Washington, D.C., the headquarters for the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, as well as the federal government, has the statue of Albert Pike, the Confederate war general who has morals and dogma, the book he wrote under his arm, in the statue. In Morals and Dogma, Albert Pike explains what Hebrew gematria is, and he says that Freemasonry owes all thanks to Kabbalah, where this code comes from. Washington, D.C. also happens to be on the 77th meridian, known as the American meridian. Remember on September 11th, Flight 77 hit the 77-foot-tall Pentagon on the 77th meridian, exactly 77 minutes after taking off. If you write out United States, it sums to 77. If you write out September 11th, it sums to 77. If you write out World Trade Center, it sums to 77. At the beginning of this year, we got a story of a girl dying from choking in a pancake eating contest. And the story was her father died in the pancake theory collapse of the towers. Pancake eating contest equals 77. So does secret society. So does power. In Washington, D.C., everything is 187. Washington, D.C. equals 187. George Washington equals 187. Ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry equals 187. Society of Jesus equals 187. That's the Jesuit order who once ran that area when it was the Catholic colony. That's why D.C. is between Virginia and Maryland. The current president is a Jesuit. He had his GOP convention start July 18th, 18 slash 7, 187 days before Inauguration Day. Tom Brady's a Jesuit. Donald Trump was talking up the Patriots big time just before the selection. Go back. You know, got a lot of work on it. Donald Trump, big Tom Brady fan. Both Jesuits. The Pope right now in the Catholic Church is the first publicly Jesuit Pope from Trump's birthday to the Pope's birthday is 187 days because these are New World Order agents. And the NFL is a New World Order distraction meant to mock your ass. That's why the no-talent Tom Brady is the best quarterback in the history of the game. Think about how stupid it is. This can only deceive people who are retarded and who have never played sports. Football is a game of athleticism. It is a game of speed. Tom Brady has no speed. He has no athleticism. He has a noodle arm. His whole career, no matter who his offensive line was, they've been able to give him 10 years in the pocket. No matter what defense he's facing, his receivers are wide open. The same plays, the same slant passes, the same thing. His whole career, so scripted, so obviously stupid. Tom Brady got his 187th win, the regular season record, yesterday, 74 days from his birthday. Masonic, 74. George Washington, 74. Holiday, 74. Independence Day, 74. Think about it. Tom Brady and the Patriots. After the Patriot Act in 9-11. 
after Mo Lewis, the New York Jets, sacked Drew Bledsoe, injuring him? Oh my God, now they bring up Tom Petty on the screen who was just murdered by the numbers. One more time, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. 317, the 66th prime. Tom Brady dead by the numbers at age 66 on a day with 49 numerology. Petty equals 49. If you write out 49, it sums to 66. Like Revelation equals 49, the 66th book of the Bible, the whole code from the Bible. So we'll wrap it up there, truth seeker. Until next time.